the short stories of the guy who liked to toast toast the most epic story in this century and surely this will get a Nobel Prize and if it won't then the Nobel Prize thing is a complete bullshit and corrupt thing so the stories of a short guy who liked to toast toast once upon a time, there was a man who liked to toast toast, but this wasn't your ordinary toast toast in the morning guy, no sirree. This particular fella toast toast like no other man. Some people said that he was a god of toast, some said that he had the ability to make toast and turn into sandwiches. Actually, he once did this, but that caused this village to be invaded by heavy weapons guys. This on the other hand caused the spy population to increase wildly in the town just like on TF2 Xbox servers. So, the guy left this village, since the spies made the air too polluted for anybody to breathe. And this is how our good sir, Mr. Entername here, ended up in a village called Koridai. The guy lived there with his father, who shall be called the king, in this story, since he liked running the streets, repeating references from an extra special game from the CDI. Everyone in the town knew what he was referring to, since the CDI was the most popular console of that particular town. Why, you might ask? Well, let me tell you why, boy. Because it just was the most goddamn popular console there. No more stupid questions. Okay, back to the story. So one morning, the guy woke up, exactly at 6.55 a.m., ready for some toasting action. But when the guy walked into the kitchen, he realized that there were no toast. The guy sworn that according to the scent, there should have been exactly 97.8 pieces of toast. He knew this since he had a huge ass nose. After mourning for all the toast that wasn't there, he saw all these toast crumbs leading around the floor, leading to the basement. The guy hesitated for a moment before he started sliding towards the basement door. How was this possible? Well, the floor was made out of jello pudding, that's how, of course, you silly person. The guy realized that the scent was getting stronger and stronger as he slid closer and closer to the basement door. The door hadn't been opened for years, thus the paint was falling off it. The guy wouldn't go down to the basement in any circumstance, since this basement was particularly scary, since it didn't have any kind of a light switch. And everyone knows that basements are really fucking scary if they don't have any kind of a light switch. I mean, like, seriously, they're fucking scary. They, they make you look like a freaking pussy, I mean, you know. As the guy grabbed the handle he, to open the door, he felt a chilling presence nearby. Suddenly, his father jumped out of his room's wall and yelled, My boy, this piece is what all your boys strive for. At this moment, the guy was frozen in the place and really freaking pissed, since that was the fourth time this week he had done this. Hmm. I wonder what's for a dinner, the king mumbled to himself as his finger was turning into the cucumber. Or was it the bagel? After the king had passed out once again, the guy decided to decided to try to open the door once again. As the guy was turning the handle, he started hearing voices from the basement. Oh fuck, bandits, badnits. Badnits is a very evil and soulless organized criminal corporation, which strive to kill all the guy's toast, the guy thought to himself. The guy wasn't going to give up though, since he wasn't going to let his toast die in vain. Filled with anger, the guy silently opened the door and started to listen to what the badnits were talking about. He waited for a moment and then he heard two characters whispering to each other. Gee, it sure is dark. Did you bring a light? Asked the badnit from the other. No! Screamed the other with a very familiar voice. At this point the king was waking up and his finger was turning back into a potato. Or was it the tomato? The guy knew that if his father would have woken up, he would have started yelling, my boy, as usual. The guy critical hit at his father with his bat, which let, let out a really loud boink noise. This noise was enough to get the badnit's attention, and no, as now they were already running up the stairs leading out of the basement. The guy slammed the door shut, and by doing that, he created a two-dimensional portal. The guy took a quick peek inside the portal, but of course, this it would not have been so special if I am good would not have accidentally pushed the guy completely inside the portal. After the 
portal traveling Cygnus, he started to look around. On the other side of the portal, the guy saw a cartoonish looking world, which had made him feel like he was in a CDI game. Around him, he saw a rather old and weak looking bridge. And on the other side, he saw a red structure, which was made out of wood, and the walls of this building were splattered with blood and giblets. The guy felt the str strong and dirty smell of a cigarette nearby, but that passed away after a few seconds. After this, the guy realized he was turning into a baby. This made the guy cry, since he felt like it, because he was a baby. And that's what itty bitty babies do. Suddenly, he heard a loud scream from behind him. What sick man sends babies to fight me? After this loud yell, he heard a minigun starting to spin. At this particular moment, the guy wished he had toast, but he didn't, so he knew he was screwed. To be continued. Made by Lollipopper, aka Thin Finland, aka Thinny. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.